So Kun Piyasawat Amaranan, the president of Thai International, is still confused, as still puzzled as to why he was sacked by the board of directors. Mm -hmm. I heard him on radio this morning again, uh, saying that he told the chairman, Kun Ampon Kiti Ampon, to tell the truth about the real reason, because mm -hmm. he could not probably accept the official explanation that he had been fired because of lack of good communications between him and the board of directors. Right. So I, I'm not sure what it means, you know, that you cannot uh, openly discuss issues with the board or whether the board doesn't like the way he talks sometimes uh, too frankly. But could be what did say that if the directors didn't like what he was saying, they should not have approved all the, his proposals. But they had always approved what he had proposed to the board. Yes. So there must have been some kind of communications between them. <laughs> well, not only couldn't be a Sawat is confused, mm. uh, I think the whole Thai public <laughs> is really confused. Uh, a lot of uh, controversy, a lot of debate in the mm -hmm. social media today. Yeah. Well, to understand the controversy, I think you need to rem remember only three figures. Yeah. 4.3, uh -huh. which is the KPI of Kun Biyasawat, yes. which is outstanding. Out, out of five? Out of five. Really, um, you know, mm -hmm. whoever gets 4.3 uh -huh, uh -huh. should go and celebrate. <laughs> yeah. That's the first number you should remember. So, second number is the 10 billion baht, yeah. which was the loss that was suffered by the Thai Airways before he came uh, uh -huh. to take over as president. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, the third number was the third number is a uh, 4 billion baht, which is the profit mm -hmm. that the Thai Airways made under his uh, supervision. Yeah, first so, quarter? Yes. yes. This mm -hmm. is, uh, this is a, a great uh, three numbers to remember, and mm -hmm. you, you will understand why the public is really confused and why Kun Piyasawat himself has been really confused about this. But the Prime Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister said today that mm -hmm. there was no politics involved. All this was professionally handled then she may have some communication <laughs> problem. Uh, so uh, the, rest, the rest of the country uh, seem to believe that there's some politics behind this. Uh, Kun Biyasawat has only six months to go before his uh, mandatory um, uh, term. Oh, really? Yes. Two uh, years and seven months in office, uh -huh. and he has six more months to go. Six more months to go, and why the government you know, uh, is unable to wait just another six more months and make it the less uh, controversial. Just well, let him go, and without yeah. extending his term, is e easier way to mm -hmm. um, so-called get rid of him. Well, because some do. people have suggested that because Kun Piyasawat was investigating some corruption charges within Thai International, right? Uh, a, a lot of speculation was going on, but I think the key, the key thing is. Uh, if you want to remove someone as president, mm -hmm. there's are only three main things. Mm -hmm incompetence, mm -hmm. which, you know, go against our uh, mm -hmm. 4.3 mm -hmm. uh, KPI. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, corruption, uh, we haven't heard of anything uh, mm -hmm. about Kun Biyaswat and any uh, scandal at all. Mm -hmm. The third factor is the labor union. Mm -hmm. he, he is very, very well loved by, by the people, employees of the Thai Airways International. So mm -hmm. uh, the, the three key factors uh, do not play any role at all in his removal. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But then people would say that Kun Piyasawat came because the Democrat Party was government then, mm -hmm. and now there's a new government. It's only natural politically <laughs> for him to leave. But, and that he has survived so far about seven, eight months of the Yingla government. So mm -hmm. at least well, people would say, those mm -hmm. who think he should have gone earlier would have said that, well, you know, they allowed you to stay on for a few mm. more months. Right, and this is not just about a democratically uh, elected government uh, trying to have it its way mm -hmm. in, 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 in governing agencies. Mm -hmm. uh, Thai Airways International is a public, um, at least a half public company. Uh, ha uh, the stakeholders are the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. uh, the half of the shares are owned by the finance ministry. Yes. And the other half, you know, the shareholder, the investor in the stock market. So mm -hmm. this is not just about uh, government or politics. The, the government should be accountable for um, whatever happens at this uh, national flag carrier also. Well, it's a flag carrier, and mm -hmm. it is important that Thai International is run professionally because right. 
it faces international competition, right. which gets fierce, fiercer and fiercer every day. Mm -hmm. So we hope that anyone who replaces Kun Biasawat can do a better job. And we hope that he will not come under pressure, either positive or negative pressure, because anyone capable of running a natural carrier should be left free to run it professionally. I hope so anyway.